Welcome back to another video and another way and update. If it's your first time here, my name is Beck. Thank you so much for joining me. So the last week has been a little bit better. I'm going to apologise in advance because if you can hear any noises, it's because Jeff is trying to fix the extractor fan in the bathroom, which is right next to my bedroom. So that is what the banging is if you can hear it. You might be even in the attic at the moment, who knows? But anyway, the last, well, last week wasn't great. Um, there was a game. That's fine. We know where it came from. I know where it came from and that is the most important thing. So obviously I did make a promise to myself that I would not have any takeaways in the last week, which I didn't do. I stuck to that and I'm really glad that I did actually because not just um, for myself, well, all for myself. So for myself as in making that promise and sticking to it, but just, it's expensive. Do you need me? No, I don't think he does. It's expensive and it's kind of, it didn't make, you all right? What's the matter? What's wrong? He hurt his back, but he's fine. And the extractor fan is working. It's all good. I don't even know where I was now. Oh, I think I was saying about it being expensive. And it didn't tell me anything that I didn't already know. I mean, we all know that it's better if you're not having takeaways when you're trying to lose weight. So I stuck with, with that. And apart from that, it's been, it's been a bit of a bonkers week. If you do watch my What I Eat In A Day videos, you'll know my sister's had a baby. So not that that affected me really. It just, you know, means that I could go down there and, and see the baby. Other than that, it didn't have any, you know, effect on my eating or anything like that. We didn't have any celebratory meals or cake or anything like that, nothing. So, you know, it's, it's not been a bad week, I've got to say. I feel like I've put a bit more effort in than I usually would. However, meal planning is still definitely not my forte. Um, I, I'm, I'm just a wing it kind of gal. I really am. And I decide probably sometimes the night before, mostly on the day, what food I'm going to have in the evenings, because I tend to have, um, a moderate breakfast and then a snacky kind of lunch. So maybe a soup or a salad. And then for my tea, I will have a main meal. That's the way that I like to eat. So that's the way that we, we tend to eat here because everybody else, if I'm the one that's cooking that day, that's what everyone will go with. Other than that, I mean, people are in this house kind of left with their own devices as well because Jack works, Tasha's in school. Obviously, if Jeff and I are both at work, then they've got to fend for themselves. They're all grown-ups anyway, so it's not an issue. But I feel like this week has been, it's been a good week. Um, the meals that I've had, I've been within calories every day. I'll put a little screen scroll here of my weekly diary view so you can see that. But I'm happy. I know that some days I've had a lot of calories left over and that is fine. I'm fine with that. It, you know, it's what I'll say about that is I know some people have said that it's best to eat all your calories. But if I've had my breakfast, my dinner, my tea, I've had a little snack. I'm not then just going to eat it for the sake of it because it's there. So if there are some left over at the end of that day, then there are some and that's the way that it stays. What I will say is previously when I was doing Slimming World, for example, and I had 15, well, 20 sins when I started because I was over 20 stone. Is it 20 stone you've got to be? I can't remember. But I was over that and I had 20 sins a day. So I used to see that as a target and I'm trying not to do the same thing now. So if I've got calories left over and I want to eat something that's got that amount of calories in it I'll do it but if if I don't fancy anything then they'll just stay there and sometimes especially if I'm having a takeaway on weekends or we've got something unexpected that crops up then that kind of goes I suppose for that and this is why I don't set easier days because sometimes things can happen when I'm not expecting them to and I'd rather just leave the calories there for that so if they're left over they're left over and that is the way that I like to do things so everybody's different obviously and I'm not telling anybody that that's what they need to do that's just what I do and what I like so there we are how did I get on this week well 
let me tell you, not bad. Not a massive loss, but a loss nonetheless. So I lost. Last week I weighed in, let me put my glasses on. Last week I weighed in at 174 and a half. This week I've weighed in at 173 and a half. So that's a pound off. That is three stone two and a half since January 2020 and four stone six and a half overall since I was at my heaviest. So there's my little book. It's a bit of a mess. Yes, it's my old Slimming World one, but it's got all my weights in it, so I like to keep it going. And focus me. So there we are. Not a bad week at all. I'm really happy with that. So a pound off and back in the right direction, thank goodness. But you know what? This is my journey. This is what happens with me. Everybody knows that I like to socialise. I spend quite a bit of time, you know, going out with friends and, and that kind of thing. I don't drink a lot. So whenever we are out or over friends, then I won't be having any alcohol. It'll be for me the snacky things that always get in my way. And, you know, it happens. It is life. So slow and steady. And I was watching Julie this morning and so lovely to see her back. Condolences about your dad, Julie, because obviously, it, you, you know, you're going through a hell of a, a time at the moment and trying to keep on top of things food wise and it is difficult. But she, like she said in her video, slow and steady. And that is the way that I want to play it. And that's the way that it, it's always going to be for me. I'm not one of these to get massive losses. Never happens. I mean, don't get me wrong, when sometimes when I first started doing something new, I've had a big loss then. But other than that, no, it is just slow and steady. I mean, most of the time it's not even a pound. But I'm happy with whatever it is, as long as it is a loss. So, as for this week, this week, I'm actually thinking, and I did mention it in the week actually, of trialling something a little bit different. Now, I haven't clicked that button yet. But I think I probably will because I'm feeling like I could just do, although saying that, it's not anything really that different to what I do. But one of the girls in work with me does it and swears by it. She loves it. And I've got a two-week free trial. It is Noom. Now, let me know in the comments if you've ever tried it, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. The girl that I work with, well, not a girl, she's a woman, um, she loves it. And it doesn't seem much different to what I'm doing now so the journaling the positive thinking and that kind of thing but I just feel like maybe I should give it a little whirl because she was saying about 10 minutes in the morning and I just think yeah I could do with something a little bit different not because of any other reason than I just fancy something a little bit different it's, it's still calorie counting as far as I'm aware so let me know if I'm wrong about that but I just, yeah, I think I might, it's only two weeks and obviously it gives you different options then. You can sign up to it for three months, six months or a year. I honestly, at this moment in time, I don't think that I'll be paying for anything because I enjoy doing what I'm doing and I feel like I've kind of got the knack of it now, she says. But no, let me know if you've ever tried anything like that and... If you'd even be interested if I was going to try it to let me know, to let you know what I think of it. Yeah, so it just popped up in one of my emails and I thought, mm. so I asked her about it and she said, no, it's really good. And I thought, ooh, okay, I'll have a little look at that then. So I thought for two weeks for free, it's worth a try. I let you know. So that is my plan for this week. It might not be tomorrow that I start it because... I feel like I need to be a bit more prepared and I haven't been shopping, which I'll have to do tomorrow. So, yeah, but we'll see. Watch this space. I'll keep you updated fully anyway. And I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Thank you so much for watching.